Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Colin. I'm the Zapthy. I just woke up, so my voice is gonna sound a little bit weird for this playthrough uh, episode. But yeah, time to make it to Dirk's house and get that forged ring and whatnot. So uh, let's go, man. Let's get this going. Forge the Ring of the Pact. A dwarf who's losing his skills by living on the surface? There's no one else. The dwarf that has the skills is unable to move. Dad, please. I've gathered all of the necessary items. This is adamantite for polishing. Hmm. What's this piece of wood? Is this sacred wood? This must fuel the fire. Is that why you were traveling all over Tepeala? To prepare all of this? <sighs> I see. So everything is set. I can't very well refuse after you've gone through so much trouble now, can I? And I suppose it won't hurt me to help out my dearest son. After all, I miss father too. Dwarven vow number one. Work together for the sake of a peaceful world. All right, let's do it. With this, I'll be able to use the eternal sword, right? Lloyd, I have a favor to ask. What is it? Would you allow me to join your journey once more? Of course. I was hoping you'd say that. Then use this. We'll stop Mythos together. Okay. That's a marvelous blade. I doubt you have a sword in your possession to match it. Really? Take this with you. It's a present I promised you. Now that you've grown all up, I can entrust you with the greatest sword I ever forged. Wow. I'll become even stronger with these two swords. Thanks, Dad. And Kratos. Well then, let's be on our way. The final battle awaits. Yeah, everyone's waiting outside. Let's go, Kratos. Be careful. Right. Everyone, let's go. When I was a child, I used to have my father carry me on his, so his shoulders. I thought you couldn't remember anything about your childhood. I don't remember very clearly, but I have a feeling we looked up at the stars and talked together. I see. So because of that, I've always made sure that the stars were the one thing I studied seriously. Really? Yeah, really. Alright. Now, as you as you just saw, where Kratos asked, "Can I join your uh, on your journey once more?" Um, if you don't select him for the Flanor scene, um, where you choose which person you want to talk to and go outside in the snow, uh, if you don't choose him, he won't ask you to join once again. So, uh, if you really want him to join again, you have to pick him. All right, now let's uh, go to the Tower of Salvation, kick some fucking ass, do all, you know, kind of cool shit. Uh, what's it? Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. It's all destroyed. Oh man. The only thing left is that dais. It's the Eternal Sword. Lord, are we fully prepared? This may be our last battle. Yeah, we're set.
Let's put on some uh, holy bottles because I kind of just want to speed through this. I don't really want to battle anyone. It's kind of pointless for me to battle anyone. Uh, you just keep going straight, I believe. And it'll lead you out. Not out, but you get the idea. To the correct place. Which is this way. I believe. I believe in the dream, guys. I believe in the dream. You know, the setting and the design for this map has to be, some, like, crazy good. Um, not map, but dungeon. You get what I mean. Like, look at the backdrop. Look how, you know, cool it looks. I wish we would've got to see more Darius Carlon in, uh, this game. Uh, too bad we didn't, but... It's no... Nothing to be sad about. The game was still good without too much of Darius Carlon. Um, you know, one thing I wish they would have did as a, you know, game developer, uh, Namco, I wish, wait, let me switch you with Kratos, um, wait, no, yeah, and then boom, one thing I wish they would have did was, um, uh, what I was gonna say, um, made a prologue. Made a prologue for, um... No... God damn it. Equip. Let's see. It's equipped all the stuff that we can on him. It's gonna, you know... Be amazing. everything as is all right uh, we went the wrong way um now let me get back on what I was saying because I keep on messing up the topic I wish Namco for the second game you know the sequel to this game I wish they would have made a uh, prologue prequel I don't know if I'm uh, I don't remember which one is correct um what I mean by that I wish they would have made it to where um, we got to, you know, see, uh, 4,000 years ago, you know, like, Martel, Mythos, and whatnot, and then, even before that, um, we already passed this, I believe, um, before that, I mean, you know, such as, um, you got to play as you and Kratos, Martel, and Mythos, and, uh, the ending scene would have been, um, Kratos having to kill Anna, or something, you know, I wish they would have, we would have got to see, uh, before all of this happened, before Lord, before, you know, the designs and Crucius and all and whatnot. Uh, I think that would have been a good, you know, storyline, a good game. I would have uh, threw money at Namco, no doubt. Um, but we never got to see it, so we will never know. Uh, let's escape. It's taking a while. And throw on a holy bottle. Nope. Damn. Uh, but yeah, I think as a game developer, uh, that would have been a very good choice since everyone really loved Tales of Symphonia. And, uh, no one can really... Anyone that has played Tales of Symphonia or the Tales series and played, you know, Tales of Symphonia will say that's one of the best games out of their entire lineup, including... Um, we're not going to go there yet. Uh, I think there's a boss you can fight, a Bishon. Uh, I don't know if I can fight them, though. We'll, we'll go backwards and see. 
Um, but I'm pretty sure everyone that's played the series would tell you that Tales of Symphonia, um, at least top two out of the entire Tales series. Um, at least for me, that's the same with me. Um, I've started the whole series with this game. Um, and I think people that would, you know, play the entire series and, you know, be fans of it would love to see a prologue of the game. Love to see, you know, the whole Kratos mythos story before, you know, he went crazy and uh, all, you know, cuckoo and whatnot. Um, can we open these chests and get something? Okay, nothing really crazy. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I wasn't playing this, um, this save file to get items and whatnot. I was doing it for a story. Uh, so it really doesn't matter to me. But yeah. Uh, let's head, you know, let's just go and fucking wreck some people. Alright. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're good. Um. Let's go. What is it? You know what? Just for the fucking lulls and whatnot, we're gonna open this. Um. Now, before we go, you know, any further, I would like to say that at the end of this series, um, this, um, Let's Play, I'm gonna go do, you know, I'm gonna upload some, uh, side quest stuff and whatnot. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do Abyssin. I forgot, you know, midway through the game that I forgot to, you know, do Sword Dancer and all that shit. Uh, so I do apologize. Um, I wish I could have did it. Uh... And I apologize. What the? Oh no, it's a trap! Lloyd, help us! Forget about us. Find a way to evade this trap. Don't worry about me. Just take care of Mythos. This device is not life-threatening. Please, don't worry. Lloyd, as long as you're all right, we still haven't lost. You must get to the Great Seed. <coughs> Lloyd, find the Darius emblem. With it, you can disarm this trap. <coughs> Guys! Damn! What the hell is going on? What happened to everyone? Everything is all right. I can feel the presence of your companions. They are somewhere in this city. All right. Let's go find them. All right, now we have to save people once again. Can we go backwards? Okay. okay. Um. Oh. This is Walgaia. It's different from the last time we were here. Damn, that Mythos. He's even abandoned half elves, his own kind. I won't abandon anyone. I need all of you. Alright. Let's go this way. We can't go forward. Ah, yeah. Okay. Let's go this way, then. Like I said, I think Wogai is my favorite. <clears throat> I do apologize. I think Wogai is my favorite dungeon of the entire game, man. It looks so well designed uh, for the time frame, of course, so don't get little kids raging at me. Oh my god, the graphics are so horrible, blah blah blah. Um, for the time frame that it was made in, I think they did a very good job. And I'm uh, proud of them, so. What the? Why is the mayor... Be careful. It's an illusion. You think I'm an illusion? This is exactly why everyone says half-elves are fools. Rain, my pitiful child. A tainted child who received only half her elven blood. M mother Half-elves have no place in this world. That's not true! It is because you are despicable halflings that I was chased out of Heimdall. Then why did you give birth to us? There probably was no choice. That's why you were thrown away after you were born. 
disappear from this world. Die! There is no meaning for you to live. Disappear. Die! Humans and elves. Neither side wants us. That's right. No one wants you. I didn't choose to be born like this, yet... It can't be helped. It's your fault for not being a pureblood. No, you're wrong. No, they are not wrong. Half-elves are despised and discriminated against for merely being alive. Our existence is a crime. No, it's not the half-elves' fault. But... We... People who can't accept those who are different are the ones to blame. It's because of their weak hearts. Hey, you two. I came to get you. Lloyd. Now let's go. It's hopeless, Rain. You'll just be abandoned again. As long as you're a half-elf, the world will continue to hate you. Lloyd came for us, even though he could have left us behind and faced Mythos. You'll just be betrayed again. Because you're a half-elf. You may be right. But then again, you may be wrong. It wasn't because of my blood that you abandoned me. It was because of the world that hates my blood. And a mother who was too weak to stand up against it. I'm going to stop hating that weakness. My hatred never changed anything. In order to change the world, I must first change myself. I'm glad I was born a half-elf. It was because of it that I met Lloyd and my other dear friends. Genus, do you feel the same? Are you happy that you were born a half-elf? That's ridiculous. There's no world for half-elves. Because humans hate us, I hate humans. Genus! But I like you, Lloyd. And I like everyone we traveled with. Because I think they all like me. You're an idiot. You're deluding yourself. I'm the same. Just like those that hate half-elves, I get mad at humans and elves just for being who they are. That's just going to make them hate me more. My heart was weak, too. Is it a sin to be weak-hearted? Not everyone's strong. Not everyone can stand being despised. Hey, you two. Lloyd! Thanks for coming. I'm sorry. I promise to make up for all the trouble we've caused. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? Hey, what's this thing that just came floating down? They're fragments of the mirror. Maybe they're symbols of the weakness of our hearts. You should hang on to it. It's proof that you guys beat that weird mirror. Okay. Yes, it's a good idea.